The Walking Dead. Okay, so this is the season finale, and I have heard not great things about it. I've heard it range from people said it absolutely sucked, people saying about half of it sucked, to someone said that only 1% of it sucked, but the theme I'm picking up on is no one loved it, let alone was fully even satisfied with it. So I'm trying not to get my expectations like too high or too low, just kind of watch it for what it is and see what I think. So let's just get to it. It is season six, episode 16. Its title is Last Day on Earth. Let's do it. This creepy whistling's gotta stop. So, Carl, if you want to protect her, why are you leaving? I know I could be of some help. Is, is everyone just gonna leave? Carl, get a haircut. You really just lock her in a closet. Dude, you are in a closet with a bunch of guns. Just shoot the lock open. It just survives somehow. Aw, he did the thing. Is everyone going? My first priority is Judith. Gabriel's stepping up. It's not too late. <laughs> Should we try to make some kind of deal? Shut up. He's doing that horse thing where he goes up a hill and comes into view. They've done that before. Carol napping in a doorway. Is this Hollywood Boulevard, really? Carol got shot. Things have happened, but it's always worked out for us because it's always been all of us. It has not always been all of you. Y'all keep dropping like flies. Y'all need more rocket launchers. Give us all your stuff. That's not a good deal. Are you going to chrome the dude? What was the point of that? Spray painting the dude? Want to make today your last day on Earth? He did the title of the episode thing. You do the same. That seemed oddly pleasant. If you don't want to kill, or if you can't, then you have to get away from her. That that makes no sense. Get both. You you should know that. Carol, suck it up. Wait, so you don't want to kill? So you're gonna point a gun at him and tell him to go? You just said you can't kill a girl. What they did. Better Maggie. You were talking about having kids? I could. Now. Not right now, because you're driving. Also, look at the road, bro. Yeah. <clears throat> we ended. Carl, don't try to take control. Dude, all the streets are just messed up. Go home. That guy's just wasting his ammo. Let him keep doing it. It's like full on raining in that scene. Homeboy had to climb a tower in the rain. I mean, what luck to find a well trained horse. And to know how to ride it. I'd scare the thing. That's not good. That's Daryl's. That's some psychological warfare stuff. Oh, someone's shooting. Wait, wait, so they've been shot out that much and ain't no one got hit? They were shooting a lot and seriously, no one shot Rick yet. Are, are these guys stormtroopers? They couldn't hit anything. Rick. It is just one thing after another, man. Oh, shoot. You picked the worst road to go down. Go oh, no, Walker. Ew, don't pull its face off. That's a gnarly business. Ew. And you got tackled, so your day's not going great. You gonna lie there? I'm gonna watch you die. Slow. That's stupid. That's like James Bond. Just, just do it if you're gonna do it. Oh, don't do that. Please get her mad enough to kill you and bring Carol back. She was awesome when she killed things. Okay, so who's the person in the box with the air holes? Quit, quit sneak peeking it. Just show it. Quit shooting her, please. Unless you kill me now, I'm not gonna die. True. Carol's resilient. Stop. Morgan's got a gun. I like him with a gun. Morgan did a thing. I like that. What? Who are you, sir, with your armor? Those guys look like they're about to go play paintball or maybe like 
go ride motocross. Oh, shoot. We're lucky you're here. Oh, that means you're probably gonna die, doesn't it? Aw, oh, hug it out, bro. I was like, that, that's hug worthy. What are you guys using as a stretcher? I don't want Eugene to die. He better not die. <laughs> it's Wash from Firefly. Oh, too soon. He had a tree in his torso. Uh oh. That rapey whistle thing is happening. Things are gonna get bad. Oh. Shoot. That's really not good. You just ran, like, into their camp. It's all dudes. They ain't no chicks wanting to be bad guys. Let's get her down and get you all on your knees. This, that does not sound great. Maggie, you're not looking so hot, boo. What? Okay, cutting back to the boxy looking thing with holes in it. Are we gonna explain that now? I'm gonna be pee pee pants city here real soon. I know that's supposed to be scary, but you sounded like a child saying it. I'm Negan. Okay, if this follows what happens in the comic books, things are gonna get bad. Give me your shit. Or I will kill you. Today was career day. Very straightforward. You don't really think that. You were going to get through this without being punished now, did you? Don't do it. You killed my people. A whole damn lot of them. More than I'm comfortable with. And for that, for that you're going to fail. Don't do it. I'm going to beat the holy hell out of No. Way. No, gosh, no. I didn't think that. I thought they were staying away from the comic books, but they're going to do it, aren't they? I know. You cry. This is dragging on way too long, though. Be serious. This is taking forever. Just kill one of them. No, it's gonna happen. This is this scene is taking way too long. Seriously. No. What's happening? No. Don't. Yeah, it's gonna happen. Anybody says anything, cut the boy's other eye out and feed it to his father, and then we'll start. You can breathe. You can blink. You can cry. Hell, you're all gonna be doing that. Oh, God. No. Did the thing. Still doing it. Still doing it. Yeah. That's how it ended? Are you serious? This is why everyone hated it. I mean, when the comic books, he kills Glenn, so like. Expect people to wait a whole season and just like wait. That actually was really disappointing. It's like totally disappointing. The scene drag on for way too freaking long. And then you just first person kill someone. Okay, this episode was long and um disappointing. I didn't want to go into it thinking it would be disappointing. I mean, okay, I'm going to be clear. Most of it was good. It just ended horribly. And I'm not saying it ended horribly because someone died. I'm saying it ended horribly because it was a stupid ending. So it's not just me and my friends thinking this, because I'm looking on IMDb right now. And this whole season, they've only had one episode, two episodes that had seven stars. Majority of them were eights and nines. This episode was rated a 5.7. So no one liked it. This episode's too long, and a lot of it is very repetitive. So I'm just going to bullet point this thing. There's a lot of cuts throughout the whole thing of, like, people looking through what I thought was, like, a box. Turns out it's, like, a car with, like, holes poked through it and light streaming through Morgan's still looking for Carol. He finds a horse. He finds her. She don't want to go home. There's a big group of bad guys that, like, chases some dude. They do that creepy whistle thing. They say they killed some people, and they're going to make an example out of him. 
Maggie needs to go to the doctor because she's got some problem with the baby or something. She ain't feeling good. So they're loading up the RV to take her, and, like, every single freaking person wants to get in this freaking RV. It's like, some people should stay home. Enid wants to go, and Carl's like, uh-uh, and locks her in a closet? Basically, this whole episode, they're just in this RV trying to get to the doctor, and there's the bad guys on the road being like, hey, we want to kill you and take your stuff. And they're like, no, we don't want that to happen. And then just slowly backing away. Then they take another road. It's the same thing. Then they take another road. It's the same freaking thing. And in one of the roads, they had, like, tied up a bunch of zombies and, like, I'm sorry, walkers, sorry. But they tied a bunch of them up, and, like, one of the walkers had Michonne's dreads. The other one had, like, one of Daryl's arrows, I think. And then they're just getting shot at, and then they just get through the the little the walker barricade. Sorry. Carol gives Morgan the slip, and she don't want to go home. She's like, I ain't gonna kill no one. I think if I love someone and want to protect them, I should just run away from them. It's not really protecting people when you just let them die alone, but whatever. So Carol runs away. She runs into that dude that was the survivor from the car who, like, took her little, like, rosary. Dude tackles her. He shoots her in the arm and he shoots her in the leg. And he's like, I just want to watch you die slowly. And it's like, dude, th you're not a Bond villain. And it never works out for them anyway. Like, they're like, they're like I'm going to slowly lower you over this tank of sharks. He's like, no, if you just shot him, it would have worked. Every second they're alive is a second for them to, like, overthrow you or be rescued. Which is exactly what happens because Morgan comes up with a gun and totally kills a dude. Morgan kills a dude. Then these two dudes with body armor show up. And it was the guy who was, like, looking for his horse that Rick was going to shoot. But Morgan told him not to shoot. And those guys are going to help them now. Then they come to another road and it's completely blocked. And then the guy from the beginning of the episode who was getting beat up by the bad guys. He just, like, falls over this bridge and he's being hung. And then some voice of the original bad guy from the first part of the episode is like, did you love your friends like it was the last day on Earth? And then they're like, you know what? Let's just leave. And then again, they just slowly back away. So they're running low on gas. And Eugene's like, you know what? I'm just going to take the RV and drive. They're going to be looking for the RV. Y'all just get away. So they all just load up Maggie and they go walking out. And Eugene's totally like, I'm probably going to die. So he gives them like a bullet recipe. And then he hugs Abraham and it's sweet. So they're just walking with Maggie through the forest and Carl's like, yeah, I'm never going to let anyone die again. We'll, we'll do what it takes. We're going to win this. And it's like, don't speak too soon, Carl. So they start hearing that creepy whistling, and they start running. But then they run, like, right into the middle of the bad guy's camp. And they have the RV, and they have Eugene. Later, you find out they have Daryl, Glenn, Rosita, and Michonne. Then comes a scene that is about 20 minutes long, and it could have and should have been, like, five minutes long. Basically, they make everyone get on their knees. They bring out, you know, Daryl, Glenn, Michonne, and Rosita, and they're like, oh, look, they're here. Then the Negan dude comes out of the RV. He's like, hey, what's up? I'm Negan. I want half your crap or I'm going to kill you. But, you know, to drive this point home, I'm going to kill one of you. He introduces his bat, and I'm like, okay, in the comics, with this bat, he kills Glenn. So, uh, he's probably going to kill Glenn. He does the old eeny, meeny, miny, mo kind of thing, and then he just stops, and it's a POV shot of him pointing the bat at someone and just beating the crap out of them, and then credits. Incredibly disappointing. Like, I'm sure in their mind they were like, this is going to be an awesome cliffhanger. People are going to, like, eat this crap up. No. And I'm not saying I know for sure if they killed Glenn, because this show does like to stray from the comics, but I think if they did do that, they'd be getting a lot of fans mad. I myself don't read the comics. I just know that in the comics, Negan kills Glenn with his bat. Also, I was just on my phone looking... And there's, like, some people who have kind of worked out in the order they were kneeling in. If he did the eeny, meeny, miny, mo thing, the last person he would stop on would be Glenn, mixed with someone slowed down the audio. And you could hear people screaming, and it sounds like Maggie screaming Glenn. It sounds like a couple people screaming, no, Glenn, blah, blah, blah. I think they killed Glenn. I don't know, man. <laughs> it wasn't good. I get why some people said 99% of it was good, but even that seems like a stretch. Because it was, like, a long episode of pretty much the same thing repeated. They go down one road, doesn't work. Go down another road, doesn't work. Another road, doesn't work. It's like, dude, this episode could have been half as long as their regular episodes and still contained all of the major plot points. I was disappointed. I tried to go into it with the, as open mind as possible, just kind of ignored what other people said. But my decision, what I decided on, is I didn't like it. So I'm curious to hear what you guys think, but I'm pretty sure you're gonna feel the same way. Maybe you won't. I don't know. If you guys want to talk about it, drop a comment. If I forgot anything or left any major kind of things out, drop a comment. 
Don't forget to do the things. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you guys next season. I'll be back for it. I'm just, uh, I'm hoping it surprises me and does some good stuff. So I will catch you guys later. Until next time.